After their loss to Victoria in the state semifinals last year, the Duncanville High School Varsity Pantherettes found themselves starting all over again by ranking number two in the area top 20 poll. This year's girls basketball schedule hasn't changed very much. The girls will play the teams they played last year. The only new one to the schedule is Kaufman, Texas. I didn't really make any changes in the schedule, uh, not real changes. We played basically the same teams. Uh, which most of our pre-district schedule was made up of teams that were in the top 10 in the Metroplex, either in 4A or 5A, mostly in 5A. Uh, that's, uh, that's generally what I do from year to year, and let the chips fall where they may. Coach Meadows and her players have appeared in the media quite a bit due to the controversy concerning the fight for the right to pray. A temporary injunction has recently been handed down. It states that students can pray, but district employees cannot participate. So for the time being, Coach Meadows will stand aside as her girls continue to pray. A recent visit by NBC's Washington correspondent Carl Stern has sparked talk on this issue once again. We'll go in-depth on this report on the February edition of Eye of the Panther. The Pantherettes have four returning starters this year, junior Lana Tucker, senior Amy Thrillkill, Christy Lake, and 6'5", senior Martha McCullen. Duncanville had already made a long list of victories in the opening season with more than 13 straight wins and a major winning streak in the Arlington Classic and landing the Louisville Tournament. By then, the Pantherettes' record shot up to 13-0. We'll expand our game coverage for a special report airing on Duncanville Cable Channel 16 this month. The Duncanville Pantherettes warmed up over the Christmas holidays for the SWA tournament title with a pair of victories over Kaufman, Texas, 71-44, and Wilmer Hutchinson, 69-52, running their season record up to 15-0. And, and returning as three-time defending champions and having won six out of the last nine titles, the 41st annual SWA Invitational Girls Basketball Tournament had a strong field of 26 teams. In the SWA tournament results, Duncanville had a big win in the first round against Grapevine, 56-26. In the second game, the Pantherettes defeated Bishop Link, 66-45. In the halftime show, the basketball tournament introduced past Pantherette players. You may recognize some of these faces as teachers from your school years. These former players take pride in their association with the program, and they have organized an official group called the Pantherette Xs. It was formed to support the present Pantherettes. A popular feature of this year's SWA tournament was the Pantherette Memorabilia Room. Former players were asked to collect their old school annuals, letter jackets, pictures, awards, and newspaper articles to display and remind us of all those unforgettable moments. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Unforgettable. In the tournament quarterfinals, Duncanville took Winsboro 57-31. In the semifinals, they faced Mansfield with a 60-31 victory. During the final game, the Pantherettes played tough but lost to Bowie 58-55 in double overtime. This was the first regular season loss for the Pantherettes in the SWAT tournament semifinals since 1987. However, this was only the second loss in the last 156 games. Last March, they ended a 134-game winning streak in the state tournament. There is some pressure, but I know that um, since there's four other people on the court besides me, that it takes away most of the pressure. So. I'm glad that we lost that game instead of another game and further on in the season. And the talk was when we lost, it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. It wasn't like we lost state last year. We were more happy that we lost now than later. Well, I felt um, that we made a good comeback. You know, everybody was talking, you know, about, you know, what happened and everything. I just think that, you know, this, maybe after this loss, it's going to help us, you know, in the future to become a better team. I don't really feel pressure. I kind of just don't think about anything else but the game. When I got there to play, I try to block out all the, you know, streaks and wins and all that. But I just think about the game and what we're supposed to do. Game against Bowie, the Pantherettes were 17 points down, 37 to 20, with five minutes to play in the third period but Duncanville came back to force the game into overtime. The Pantherettes were unable to take a lead in overtime, but managed to tie the score 48-all and 50-all. That made Duncanville 19-1 for the year, 
At the tournament award ceremony, Martha McCollum was named Most Valuable Player. Christy Lake and Lana Tucker were named all tournament teams, and Duncanville received the semifinalist trophy in the SWAT tournament. Since then, the Pantherettes have continued to defeat most of the surrounding teams in the district, and we'll keep you updated on all the results next month.